Life's not worth living without some anticipation, the looking forward to the future, wondering whether you can do it. If WFG gives us anything in our lives, it's not only just hope, it's not only just opportunity, but it's anticipation of what the future could look like. Tolerating for these people who have believed in you all your life, an inferior life for you. Stuff you make much bigger and more difficult and more powerful than it is that could defeat you. If you were to go back in your life, some of the greatest trials and tribulations, difficulties you've gone through have ended up producing the most beautiful things in your life. And it's about your destiny. If you invest in enough people, there's a payoff for your destiny. You gotta believe that. You gotta believe you got a destiny. It's not just gonna happen you have to make it happen. A few things you need to know is, listen, no one's gonna do anything for you. A couple rules of being a real leader. You need to take responsibility, leading and recruiting, leading in leadership, leading in growth. Nobody owes you anything, but you owe other people everything. Stop allowing God to bless you and give you all this giftedness and opportunity and settle and tolerate less. You're great, you're special. You were born for a reason. This is how you sow seeds in your life. See, all these calls you're making, this next hour is about you. It's about your destiny, your life, your future, that of your family. I hope you can feel that. Life's gonna give you ultimately what you'll fight for and how much you hope and believe their life is gonna be special and great and you want them to be happy and fulfilled and they want you to be happy, you to be special, you to live your dreams. I want this to fill you. I want you to think about it. I want it to move you. You remember why you're doing it. Always do more than you get paid for to make an investment in your future. Say, here's what I'm afraid of. I wonder what I could do to change that. Exercise your willpower. Now you can change one little degree at a time or if you want to, you can revolutionize revolutionize the whole thing and start a brand new direction that will most assuredly help you arrive in a brand new place a year from now, three years from now. Use your willpower to start the process. Just willpower to change a little or change a lot. After the Girl Scout left my door, I had a conversation with myself. Refine your goals. I don't know what ambitions you've had up until now, but this weekend would be a good time to start the process. You've got to believe in God, and you've got to believe in the community, and you've got to believe in the possibilities. You've asked for wisdom to deal with the challenges of today and tomorrow. If you're a person of some dignity and quality, you wouldn't let that happen. Invest more of you in whatever you do. Be a little stronger, be a little wiser. Put everything you've got into everything you do, and then ask for more vitality and more strength and more vigor. The holes are the links tight enough in my organization that this guy wouldn't leave me. So when Alex says that he stole my guy, look, if you want to be in business for yourself and free, you must learn to dominate. Success loves preparation. It loves it. It admires it. It just flows money back to it. You should be busy. You should be. But Grant, Sunday is the Lord's day. It's the day we take off. You need to reread that whole deal. I don't study the people that I went to school with, the teachers I went to school with. I don't even study my own family members. I'm looking for people that are way up here that I can say, hey, what are they doing? Because they're doing it right. You lose your purpose. You lose your meaning. When I'm tired, I look at my purpose. What's my purpose? You need to understand them. You can't delegate this. So if you want to get attention, you've got to get out of obscurity with people. The third problem you have is they're not thinking about you when they go to pull the trigger. How many believe you have more potential than you're going for right now? Dude, it's way up here. It's, it's beyond what you're going for. So you want to set it here. I want to set my targets up here. I never lower a target. Never, ever. That's my target. I'll fail on my target. My whole lifetime I might fail on that target, but I won't let it, let it go. I got to stay interested. I got to keep my targets up here. I got to keep changing that target that it's your duty, your obligation, and your responsibility to fulfill your potential and that that's actually what success is. You got to be totally committed. Everybody agree? You got to be completely uncertain or you will be disciplined again. If you're not sure of your own value, your own goals, and what you want, the world will never reward you of what you want, your value, and your goals.